Okay, so for the back box uh, to the PCX, you need very few tools. Um, you need a large Phillips screwdriver to get at the, the tailpiece and get that off. You need a 17mm drill and a pilot drill and of course your, your portable drill. You need a 5mm Allen key, which I haven't got here, but a 5mm Allen key for screwing the bracket onto the back of the bike. You also need an 8mm socket and a 10mm uh, open ended spanner uh, just to hold this thing. That's basically all the tools you need, and uh, presto, <laughs> half an hour you should have it fixed. Okay, so today we're fitting a uh, top box to the PCX125. Uh, first thing, lift the seat and you'll see access to two screws at the back tailpiece. Uh, they've just come off. Okay, from that, this back tailpiece should clip off. Hard to do, but as you can see, it just clips off. Just be careful not to lose this screw. Okay. That's it. That's it totally off. As you can see, there are two markings on this for four markings for each of the holes that you need to drill. So that's our next task. Now, what I'm doing now is drilling pilot holes in the centre of each of these uh, bits of the mark out. Pilot holes done. Now for the 17 mil bit. It's the only one I have, so let's hope this works. Right, what you do now is clip the tailpiece back in place. Um, one thing I'm having to do is actually elongate the holes a little uh, with the drill just to uh, get the, the brackets on. So you'll see that in the process. Right, what I'm just doing now is elongating the holes a little. Just basically using the drill as a guide. Take a little bit off this one as well to make it fit. There you go, that should get right on that. It's up there. Right, okay, what I'm doing now, I've got this, these located and got the little um, screws in line. So what to do, I'm using this screwdriver bit to line it up first before putting any pressure on it. So. Screen quite easy. 
five mil Alan K you use for this. narrow there but if you have a look at the instructions it's exactly the same. So now to fit the plane. Right, the fitting kit for the box comes with these four of these little uh, brackets there. I don't believe you need them. Uh, this is mounted onto a solid plate. Uh, you just need the, the screw and a little uh, uh, elliptical or, or rectangular piece to fit into the rack uh, and put it in that way. So I don't believe these are needed. As you can see, I've lined up two of the little screws. I've put the nut underneath, under the solid, solid rag. Lined up, as you do. Line this up loosely, and so everything lined up. Then do your final tighten. Tighten these, you need uh, an 8mm socket and a 10mm open spanner. Uh, the 10mm goes on the bottom to hold the nut, and as you can see, you just now what you do here is nip that up and don't pull it tight just to give it a final adjustment. Right, when you're satisfied that is level and straight, and that the seat clears the rack, do the final tip nip up on the, the screws. tabs are just clip in and then you have two little retaining screws go here and here. Nice and solid there. Um, 
Now you get the box and clip it on. As you can see, the creating places there, and that's where you lock in. So. Right, just push it down home at the top side, and hey presto. The only thing now you have to remember is to put the screws in for the tailpiece.